It began before we heard about it. And soon it was too late. Like always, they had gone there to fight for us all. <laughs> to battle General Terror and Evil. We at home, went about our daily lives. Soon, the news was no longer shocking, and everything we saw was typical. We would shake our heads, and roll our eyes, and say, what a shame. But these events did not affect us here at home. It grew so slowly we barely noticed. Once in a while there were helicopters, and threats on the news. But we felt safe enough, watching from our living rooms. They kept us on alert. Ready for what? They did not say, but we were ready nonetheless. There were measures one could take. Protection you could buy. In between the war show, they showed us safe people, happy people, consumers with phones, and khakis, and electronic entertainment devices. Surely these things would keep us safe while keeping the economy strong. But despite our compliance with the manufacturers, the military presence grew stronger in our lives. We would have to try harder and buy more. Our streets began to fill with machines of fear. But, we were well prepared. We had cellular phones and new cars. Problem solved. But we were not prepared. Our defenses were not ready. And after that, everything changed. The skies were darker now, and most living things dried up along with our ambitions. The industrial machine ground to a halt. Our phones went dead and our cars stopped running. Here we had a once thriving society, where consumption imploded on us like a black hole. Capitalizing on the wants and needs of the people, this metropolis drew power from buying and selling. A real leader in industry and technology, this city was one of man's greatest triumphs. Smokestacks billowed great plumes of cash. Locomotives thundered product from east coast to west. Ships struggled to keep afloat under the weight of their cargo. The citizens of this great metropolis worked to buy and sold for work. But what man creates must inevitably come to an end. Despite the fear our government had put in us, despite the high alert we all were on, despite the greatness of our social structure, despite the fact that we had bought the latest models, we were beaten. There was no warning. It was too stealthy of an attack. No siren could have predicted. No bell could have told. The same fear that had us consuming, failed to stop the meltdown. We were lost. Our possessions had failed to save us. Our bombs had failed to stop it. Our extra security officers were useless. Finally we understood what the true warnings had been saying. Finally, we knew fear itself. There was no great intruder. No enemy of the state. No single organization could have destroyed us like this. We had overwhelmed ourselves with images of terror. We had calmed our fears with credit accounts. The illusion was suddenly exposed. And all at once we realized our failings. We recognized the overpowering presence of the fear show. We saw our possessions possessing us. The very thing we had relied on for salvation brought us crashing down. We had bought and sold ourselves to death. We had become so frightened of the threats of terror, that depression, anxiety, and buyer's remorse had made us weak. You could have knocked us down with a feather in the end. And in the end, there was no need 